to the shed and got the Easter stuff to put out. So I'm going to be putting Easter stuff out. When I'm with you, I feel like I'm inside a rainbow. When I'm with you, I feel like I'm inside a rainbow. Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday. February 24th, February 24th, so we're up, I'm getting ready to take the youngest one to daycare, take my mom to her appointment, we get her results on her biopsy today, and we see what the next plan is, see what all we gotta do from here, and after I leave there, I'm gonna have to rush to Raytown, and I have to do an interview with the police for a job for my nephew Jeffrey because he's trained to get on at the police department there after he graduates college. So I'll be doing an interview with them after that and then um, I'll be coming home after that and don't know what else we got planned for the day. Ooh, dark, dark, dark. Don't know what else we have planned for the day, but I guess we'll figure it out. I do know that I need, <clears throat> excuse me, I need me some coffee. Coffee, coffee. What's up guys so we're at the hospital mom went in there to get her prescriptions before we go to her appointment at the doctor's so we're waiting on their slow butts they said it wouldn't be long so we're at the hospital waiting they're getting prescriptions filled good afternoon everybody I haven't done much today. I've been trying to just kind of take it easy because I'm trying to get over this cold thing I have going on. So feeling a little bit better. Pretty much about the same as yesterday, actually. I'm still congested and stuff a little bit, but hopefully I'm getting better. Um, so I just edited some videos today and just kind of took it easy. Replied to some comments. Brad just got home and we're going to get ready to go. Have to go to the store to get a few things. Have to get something for dinner um my mom tagged me on facebook of this recipe that looked pretty easy and simple so i might try that um i have to go get a prescription printout for our prescriptions for our taxes and then i have to get some stamps and i think that's about it the boys are going to be going to their visit but the caseworker is going to pick them up and take them to the visit so they'll be home a little after 5 30 so we just gotta go do our stuff and be home by the time they get back because she'll drop them back off home and then uh hopefully we can get back and get dinner started so it's ready to eat when they get home so we just got our prescription printouts for last year and i had 427 dollars and 49 cents worth of prescriptions i got last year most of mine was um my erasia which is what i take for my rosacea it's my medicine for my nose for my rosacea most of that I took Nexium earlier in the year, but then I started doing over-the-counter Nexium because it's cheaper than my prescription was. So most of that was just the erasure. And then the prednisone, when I had my ear thing, I had to do the prednisone a few times last year. Braz was a whole sixty-two dollars. Sixty-nine twenty. Oh, sixty-nine twenty. What was that for? One was for my inhaler that I never get refilled. And one was for my happy pills. And one was for my Vicodin for my back. 
So, gotta turn those in with our taxes. Help us out just a little bit there. Because I don't take my bike in it all the time, only when I'm hurting and I still have some left. So, yeah. I did a refill like every three years of my bike in it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to take my uh, medicine for my rosacea on my nose because it's an antibiotic. It's like doxycycline, is pretty much what it is. But I don't like to take antibiotics for that long a period of time because you can it can start to cause problems. It, it can actually can cause some digestive issues, which I already have. I don't need any help with that. So, but if I don't take it, my nose gets really red. So I want to talk to my doctor next time and see what she thinks if it's about taking it for such a long time. I've been taking it for like a year now or so. But anyway, so now we're headed to Price Chopper. She went to the bank. To get that stuff, um, we have to get, get some stuff for dinner. Hey guys, we're back from the store. Brett's gonna be cooking again, and it's really quiet because the kids are um, at a visit. But I went out to the shed and got the Easter stuff to put out. So I'm gonna be putting Easter stuff out. Okay, so I'm making dinner here. I thought I would show you what I'm making. I'm making what is called a meatball sub bake. It's one of those little recipes on Facebook that has music playing and they put the ingredients together. It's like 40 seconds long. It's real simple. Have you seen those? That's what this one is. My mom tagged me. <clears throat> and um, looked pretty good and simple. So this is what you need here. It's only four ingredients. You have a container of biscuits. I have jumbo butter, buttermilk biscuits. So you have a tub of the egg, egg biscuits. And then you need a jar of marinara pasta sauce. And then you need a package of meatballs. They say to have 24 frozen mini meatballs. I got this in our uh, meat department at our local grocery store. It was just pre-cooked meatballs. $4.99 for a package here. <clears throat> Excuse me, and then you need two cups of uh, shredded mozzarella cheese. So, first of all, it says to <clears throat> open the biscuits and then you cut each refrigerated biscuit into eight pieces. So, you just get your biscuits out, open your biscuits up, and then you just cut them. It shows to cut it in half there, and then turn them to the side, and then cut into eight pieces. So you cut it three turns across and you got your eight pieces. And you cut all the biscuits like that and then put them into the uh, casserole dish. Okay, so we have all our uh, biscuit pieces into the casserole dish and then it says to pour the marinara sauce all onto the top of the pieces. And then just shows to stir them all up, just to mix all the sauce up with the pieces. Just stir it all up. Get that sauce all mixed up in there. Okay, and then you take your meatballs and then you just line them up on top of the sauce and the biscuits. It shows about four across or so like that board down and then just just make your little rows okay so it says to use 24 meatballs but mine package had 36 of the really small mini meatballs so I just used I used five in a row and then I had one little extra one over here I just kind of squeezed in there so just try whatever how many you have just fit them all on the top there and then you sprinkle your mozzarella cheese all over the top Okay, and there you have it. You have it all sprinkled on the top there, and then uh, I forgot to tell you, preheat the oven to 375, and then you stick it in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. So I would say probably, I would do 30, and then just check it, and if it doesn't look done, add five or 10 more minutes on there. So I'm gonna set it for 30, 
and then I will check it at 30 minutes and if it doesn't look done I'll add five more minutes and then if it's not done I'll add five more okay it's been 30 minutes and I think it's done I don't think I need to cook it any longer because it looks like it's really really cooked pretty good I don't want to cook any longer it probably might get a little too burnt around the edges so it looks delicious so we're going to dig in as soon as the boys get home okay so we got dinner started now and here is the finished product and the, and the oldest and oh the youngest son likes it the youngest likes no, it it's just my Brad likes it it's pretty it's good all right guys we're going to bed and say hi Aaliyah to my niece Aaliyah we love you love you Aaliyah she watches our vlogs, so we're going to give her a little shout out. So, thanks for watching. Back to work tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Our favorite time, day of the week, Wednesday night. I go back to work. I'm on vacation, I think, three more weeks. I go on vacation um, March 14th, which is the day before my birthday. I'm on vacation. March 15th of my birthday is my first day vacation. So that'll be a happy birthday. So, just a few more weeks and I'm off for a week. Yay. So, alright. We'll see you all in the next vlog. Good night, y'all. Good night. I got home, Brett was getting ready, and while he was getting ready, I cleaned out the little one's bird cage. So the birds have a nice clean cage again. And I think they're happy to keep chirping. <laughs>